Hey what's going on guys my name is Marufa Mim and today in this video I'm gonna show you how to create this beautiful pricing table using Elementor free version. So without further ado let's go inside Elementor page builder. First take a section by clicking on this plus icon then select this three column structure. Let's give it a height to minimum height and VH to 100. Then go to style tab. From here we're gonna give it a background gradient I'm selecting the first color to hash 030434 then let's go to the second color let's take it to hash 0C174E then go to advanced option from here we're gonna give the padding to 2% then we're gonna work with the middle column select the middle column then let's go to style tab from here background color to very white okay we have to take the border radius to 15 pixel then from box shadow horizontal to 7 then blur value to 70 all right then let's go to advanced tab first unlink the margin option then top to 30 right 15 bottom to 30 left to 15 then let's go to padding unlink it top 50 right 20 bottom 50 and left 20 okay now let's go to the rubik's cube icon drag a heading widget here i'm gonna type designing here then make it to centered after that go to style tab let's give the color to hash 0c174e then from typography we're gonna give the width to 800 let's duplicate this four times again all right so now we have five headings here let's select the second heading type process here html tag to a6 go to style tab text color to hash 030434 then go to typography from here width to default we will work with the third heading later let's start with the fourth one i'm gonna type here 40 dollar 40 then from style tab let's give the font size to 54 pixel after that let's take the weight to 600 all right then we're gonna work with the fifth one here i'm gonna type per month then let's take the html tag to h6 make it centered then go to style tab and from typography we're gonna give the weight to default like this then from advanced tab first unlink the margin and we're gonna give it minus 15 to margin top so we're done here let's go to rubik's cube icon and drag the text editor underneath here oops let's drag it over the paragraph here all right select the paragraph from here here i'm pasting some text like this now go under style tab let's take the alignment to center from typography we're gonna give the line height to em and let's take it to 2.4 okay let's go to rubik's cube icon again drag the button widget underneath here let's now click here i'm gonna change the text to buy now let's make it centered we're gonna choose an icon from here i'm gonna select the right one right arrow then click on insert icon positioning to after and icon spacing to 15. let's go to style tab from here take the color to hash 0c174e let's tap on the hover then from the color take hash f2275a and then border radius to 25 pixel now we have only left the third heading so i'm selecting the third one let's take here 40 let's take the alignment to right then go to style tab from typography let's take the font size to 200 pixel then width to 800 okay then from line height take it zero then go to text color let's take it hash 0c174e1f from advanced tab first unlink the margin then give it minus 70 at the top then to right let's give it minus 35 so now we are done with the layout now let's duplicate this for two times 
Don't forget to delete the empty columns. Let's now change the text from here. Select the first heading. I'm gonna type here developing. Then to this heading, I'm gonna type here $60. And then select the third heading, the big one, to 60. Like the same way, here I'm gonna select the first heading and type here supporting. Then this heading to $80 and the big one to 80 Now, I wanna change the appearance of the middle column. So select the column from style tab, the background gradient. I'm gonna take the first color to hash F2275A. Then the second color to hash 0C174E. Now the texts are hard to read. So I'm gonna change the background color of each text. Also in the button, I wanna reverse the color, so select the button. So in the normal state, I'm making the color F2275A. And on hover, make the background color to white. And then text color to black. So if we now minimize the bar and hover over on it, you see it's looking nice. So everything is looking great. So now we need to look how it's looking on mobile and tablet device. So open the bar, from here responsive, first go to tablet, select the first column, then go to layout, from here column width to 100%. We're gonna do the same thing with the second one, select the second column, then from layout, column width to 100. Same process with the third one. Let's now select the main section, and link the padding, let's make it in percent. Then top to 5, right 25, bottom to 5, and left to 25. Okay, after that, go to mobile device. Select the main section, keep the padding to 5%. On mobile device, it's now looking great. Okay, let's close the responsive bar from here. So when you're happy with it, don't forget to click on this green update button. I hope you have learned something new today. If you like it, please give this video a big thumb up and don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Also press on that notification bell icon to get notified before anyone whenever we will upload a new video on this YouTube channel. Also if you want us to help you on your WordPress project or Elementor project, then you can contact us through our website that's jimfahaddigital.com. We will try our best to help you. Once again, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. For now, bye-bye.